hi my dear friends welcome to my tutorial i hope that you all are doing well in this tutorial we will draw a logo design for a private shipping company named as denter shipping so to generate a logo design idea i have decided to divide the text into two parts denter and shipping for the denter i have to decide that whether i will go with a letter logo a word mark or an emblem logo and for the shipping I have to decide that whether I will represent the shipping with a delivery wagon, with a ship or with a plane. For the denter, I have decided to continue with the latter logo and to represent shipping I will use plane. So let's start with the logo design process in Inkscape. So go to file, select the document properties and select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this now select zoom to fit and select the pen tool and draw a straight line while holding down the control key change the width of the line to 550 pixels now this line looks very thinner so we will go into fill and stroke menu and in stroke style we will increase the width to 4 pixels like this now it's better now again select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key change its height to 160 pixels and also increase the stroke width to 4 pixels like this now to place this line at this edge remember that you must turn on these snap tools like this you can turn on again by just one click like this now place this line at this edge now select this line right click duplicate it and place it at this end now again select the pen tool and draw a vertical line like this change its height to 60 pixels and stroke width to 4 pixels like this also place this line at this edge now select all of these three lines right click duplicate them and place these lines at this edge now select both of these lines while clicking the shift key so that we can select both of these lines now right click duplicate it and drag them like this now go to path and select combine now rotate these lines at 90 degrees like this and place this at this point now decrease its dimensions now again select this line right click duplicate it and rotate it at 90 degrees and drag it downward in a straight line while holding down the control key like this and also decrease the line height like this now select the circle tool and draw a circle from this intersection point to this line remember that we doesn't need the fill and only need the stroke so we will cancel the fill and give it a stroke color like this black color while holding down the shift key like this now again select the circle tool and draw a circle from this intersection point to this line now while clicking on this circle go to path and select object to path now turn off this snap tools now select these edit pass by node tool and select this node and drag it horizontally while holding down the control key like this now again select this circle right click duplicate it and drag it like this again turn on this snap to path tools and place this circle quadrant at this intersection point like this now decrease the dimensions of the circle while holding down the control key like this now again select this circle right click duplicate it and place it at this intersection point and also decrease its dimensions while holding down the control key like this now select this smaller line right click duplicate it and rotate it at 90 degrees and drag it horizontally up to this line now select zoom to fit select all of the objects and drag it like this one now again select the circle right click duplicate it 
now log these proportions and change the dimensions to 1200 sorry 230 pixels like this and place it at this edge now select the pen tool and draw a line from this intersection point to this edge and from this edge to this intersection point now we are almost done with the logo now select all of the objects go to path and select combine now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this now give it some solid color like this light red color and place it below our main object like this now select all of the objects go to path and select division now you can delete the unwanted parts by selecting the part and clicking the delete key on the keyboard like this now delete all of the unwanted parts by selecting with the mouse and clicking or you can say pressing delete on the keyboard now we are almost done with the logo now select all of the objects go to path and select union now remember that we only need the fill and doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this now this solid color represents the letter logo d and this negative space represents the plane now we will write the text of our logo decrease its dimension like this select the text tool and write denter change the text to sego ui like this and give it bold dimensions like this one now drag the text here and decrease its dimensions mm, like this now again select the text tool and write the second text say shipping again select this one and drag it like here decrease its dimensions like this again select this text tool select shipping and increase the space between the alphabets from here up to this extent like this now drag it a little downward select both of these texts right click and group them and decrease the dimensions like this now this is our final logo now we will finalize the color which i have already decided you can easily see the colors from the color codes now we will select this gradient tool select this d and drag the line from one end to the other now select the dropper and give this end this orange color and this end this red color like this now select the text and give it this color like this now delete these color codes and this is our final logo now please share your thoughts about this design in the comment section that whether you like it or not and if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day